George with GFE Survival, uh, which is our YouTube channel for GFE Adventures. I want to talk today about uh, storage systems and uh, sleeping systems and uh, being able to use your camper cell more than just keeping stuff dry. Um, what I did here was I built a storage system with um, open center and four compartments on the sides. I'm going to climb in here a little bit and open some things up and give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, but first, these three center sections can all come out. You can stack them on top of each other. Or pour them, pull them completely out of the vehicle. As you can see, I have things in containers up front. I have a container with uh, equipment, jumper cables, some extra tools, um, some rags in it. I have another container with some clothing, a towel, and a couple of extra spare gear in there, two tarps, and the camouflage bag is my survival kit. You see the 2x4 across the front. One screw on each side holds that in place. Take the screws out. Both the compartments slide right out. If you come inside, you can see I have a big main compartment on this side, which allows me to store gear. On this side, I have another one. And then I have a smaller one on each side. And these two smaller ones, I keep things in there that I grab all the time, that I use all the time. Um, I also designed it so that in here, if I take things out, I can reach the storage compartment in here. I can also reach the 400 watt power inverters built into the back of the truck. I have a hole here to bring an extension cord out or cord for whatever I'm running off the inverter. I have a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter plug here, which is direct wired into the battery. So I can provide um, charging for cell phones, GPS's, um, run a video player in here if I want. As you can see, the sections go back in real easy. There we go. Uh, the camp cell is also wired with a light on the inside. I have the sliding windows here to connect everything through. Um, basically it's built out of uh, three quarter inch plywood. Um, the rails are just some some one by three, one by two material in there. Um, just some carpet from Home Depot that I use some good spray adhesive contact cement on. Um, so that's pretty much what I have here. I also have a little fluorescent light that I have that I keep inside one of those storage compartments on the side. Um, I'm going to uh, now put in my air mattress and stuff and give you a little bit of a, a camp setup and uh, how I do it and um, give you an idea of what a little compartment is going to be, you know, cozy little place from home. So, stand by. I hope you enjoy. Let me get this set up and you'll be able to check it out. Okay, now as you can see, I have an air mattress in the back with plenty of room. Now, this setup here is really what I would use just for me. Um, this is an SUV size air mattress made by Coleman. Um, I, I bought it for, I think it was like $27 through Cabela's. Um, leaves me plenty of room on the side so I can store gear or um, keep some stuff handy or be able to roll out and not have to stay on the mattress all the time. I did make a simple little shelf that I can set inside. Um, set it anywhere I want, depending upon where I keep my head. Uh, 
I can put my laptop on it, watch movies, uh, put a portable DVD player, uh, use it to just put a drink on, you know, just, it's just a, like an end table at home. Um, if I was going to sleep with two people in here, I probably wouldn't use this air mattress. I would probably go with the self-inflating mats like you would use for backpacking. And, and you would use your sleeping bags and you could be separate. Also having this shelf in here and having this extra space, I can put a small portable heater in here. Um, if I'm out off the road, I have a Mr. Buddy heater and I can place that in here and it'll, on low, it'll make it roasty toasty in here. It's designed for indoor use, but I would still crack open the window up in between the cab and the top just to allow some fresh air in. It's, I mean, it's really, you know, it gets you really, really warm in there. Uh, if I'm at a, a place where I have electricity, like a campground, I can take and put the portable heater right there, run the cord out, and um, have heat that way with electricity. I also have a, a 12 volt battery with an inverter system and a small 200 watt heater that I can run off that battery. And I would just put that on my hitch haul outside the tailgate. The battery in the, in the compartment and then just have the heater inside. Okay, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some different options. As you can see here, I have my battery in this little system that I made. Normally when driving, I would pick up this just inside the truck underneath the compartment. And then uh, when I got to where I was going to stay at, I'd bring it out. As you can see, I have two 12 volt outlets posted on here. I have a 12 volt battery. It is fused. It's an RV battery. If I want, I can hook into the system. I have mounting screws in. I can place this 900 watt converter in and run a lot of stuff. I can run a dorm size refrigerator off of this unit if I wanted. So that's one option that I have. Another option is connecting in this 300 watt converter. Um, this pretty much will do everything you need. It won't run the um, the refrigerator, but it'll run a lot of small tools. And like I said, the truck has a built-in 400 watt inverter in it. The only problem with that unit is that you have to have the engine running. Okay, so here's available power. Talk about staying warm inside. This is a 12 volt blanket. It runs off a cigarette lighter. So it's like an electric blanket that you'd have at your house, except it runs on 12 volt. I can run it off this battery system here, and that gives me good long-term usage. I can run it off the 12 volt accessory that I have in the truck. The only problem with doing this is if you use it a lot through the night, you could take a chance of depleting your starting battery. I have a stick shift, so push starting is always an option, but not an easy one. 12 volt battery. Like it runs good, light, pretty efficient, uh, good for quick warm up stuff, take the chill off. Mr. Heater runs on one pound propane cylinders. It's got two settings high and low. High, high would just cook you, cook you out. I've used this camping in a tent in 28 degree weather and was able to raise the tent up 40 degrees. So, and that was on low. So it puts out a lot of heat. As you can see, it's a ceramic base, so it's designed for indoor use, but you still need to crack the window to keep that fresh air in. Good choice. It works well. You get about five hours per cylinder. Another option, got this at Walmart. It's called a My Heater. This is 200 watts um, with a starter for 400 watts. So the little, the little inverter wouldn't start it. But the big inverter or the inverter built into the truck would run this heater. So, you know, option is got seat bags in there, open it up, 
Bunkerson have the truck run for 15, 20 minutes to keep the inside up? They cut it off, shut the engine off, go to bed. It works. This will run, like I said, off the 900 watt inverter, no problem. Got the battery, good to go. Have a little bit of Velcro on here. So, you can stick it. I don't know if you can see that or not, so let's go ahead and move the camera around a little bit. Get you set up a little bit better. Okay, that's better. So, with the shelf option, the heater on the shelf. No worries about blankets, knocking it over. It's up and safe. Mr. Buddy. Same thing, up on the shelf, good to go. This is actually really, really comfortable. I'm a good sized guy, um, six feet two inches tall. I'm gonna climb in and show you how well I fit in here. Fit two people in here, be a little snug on this one back. You can do it. You can almost take a nap now. It's so comfortable. Little cubby spaces. Like I said, I have a fluorescent light. I can stick it on the ceiling. I have lights. Stick it on the ledge here. And my shelf. Get anywhere I want. Watch a movie, put a laptop up there, small portable DVD player, good to go. Perfect eye height. I hope this is giving you some ideas about how you can set your truck up. I did a lot of research before building mine. Um, lots of different ways to do it. Thank you for your support.